Right, in previous videos we've looked at uh, the integral of powers of sine by cosine. The cases that we've already looked at are when the powers are both even, the powers are both odd, when the power of sine is odd and the power of cosine is even. We haven't looked at case number three though, when the power of sine is even and the power of cosine is odd. So let's have a look at this one. And the example we'll use is the integral of sine to the fourth power of x by cosine to the fifth power of x with respect to x. Now case number three is very similar to case number two actually. And what we want to do here is reserve a cosine and rewrite the power of cosine as cosine to the fourth power or whatever power it may be, it'll be n minus 1 by cosine of x. And that way, all the powers are even, because even powers of sine and cosine are much easier to deal with, because we can just apply the Pythagorean identity. So let's do that. So let's write cosine to the fifth power as cosine to the fourth power by cosine. Let's copy everything else down. So we have dx on the end and sine to the fourth power of x at the front. Now, because the powers are the same, there's a couple of ways I can approach the product of sine to the fourth power by cosine to the fourth power. I can use a product to some formula, but I think for the sake of consistency with what we've done in the past, the most logical way to deal with this is to rewrite cosine to the fourth power as, as cosine squared of x all squared, and that way we can rewrite cosine squared as 1 minus sine squared of x, because by the Pythagorean identity, just circle off here, cosine squared of x plus sine squared of x is equal to 1. So therefore, cosine squared of x is equal to 1 minus the sine squared of x. Let's expand this term. So if we square everything in the brackets, we get 1 minus 2 by sine squared of x plus sine to the fourth power of x. And now we can copy everything else down. What we can do now is to make a substitution. So we can let u equal the sine of x. And then the derivative to u on dx is equal to negative cosine of x. Sorry, it's not negative cosine of x, it's just cosine of x. My mistake. And we can write this in differential form as du equals cosine of x by dx. So after we make this substitution, the integral becomes the integral of u to the fourth power outside of 1 minus 2u to the second power plus u to the fourth power, and cosine x dx is equal to du. Okay, so this is becoming a form that's much easier to integrate, so let's just expand this fourth power u into the brackets, so we have now the integral of u to the fourth power minus 2 by u to the sixth power, so add the indices, and u to the eighth power adding 4 and 4 together, and then du. So now we just have powers of u, which we can simply use the power formula, which is u to the fifth power, add 1 to the power, divide by the new power, u to the fifth power on 5, minus 2 by u to the seventh power on 7, plus u to the eighth power on 8. My apologies, I'm making basic errors again, u to the ninth power on 9. And of course we need to include a arbitrary constant of integration c. And finally, we can now back substitute u equals sine x into the result. So we have the integral then of sine to the fourth power of x by cosine to the fifth power of x with respect to x equals sine to the fifth power of x on 5, minus 2 on 7 by sine to the seventh power of x, plus sine to the ninth power of x on 9, plus the integration constant c. Now we could simplify this and write this in all sorts of 
combinations of sine and cosine, but it's perfectly fine to leave the final answer in this form. Be sure to check your result by differentiating this function on the right hand side and confirming that you can write it in this form. But for now that will do it for this video. If you found it useful please give me a like. Please share it with your fellow students. Subscribe to my channel for future videos that may help you with your math studies. And if you're able to chip in a small donation I would really appreciate that because your contribution will help me make more videos for math students all over the world. But for now, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video.